Let's move over to another top story now. Chris Harney's killer, Janusz Walus's jail release has been delayed. He was due to be released on Thursday after being paroled in November. But a stabbing in prison this week has meant he can only be released once he has recovered. Let's unpack his bail conditions, or rather parole conditions, and the way forward now with criminal lawyer William Booth. Thank you so much for your time, Mr. Booth. We do appreciate it. I think let's just start off with the fact that Janusz Walus was supposed to be released on uh, Thursday because that was 10 days after that constitutional court ruling. And because of that stabbing, that has delayed uh, the release of him. Uh, and many saying this has basically bought some time for the Minister of Justice to come up with his parole conditions. Well, that might be the case. But obviously, um, as I understand it, there was some other agreement between uh, Wallace's lawyers and uh, the other legal representatives with regard to the changing the date, uh, and because he should have been released on Thursday, and changing the date because he was uh, involved in an incident where he has been injured. Um, but again, a date is set by a court, so you know the court order must be complied with. So I'm assuming whoever has done this has, in fact, uh, been in contact with the registrar of the Constitutional Court to make sure that the court order is not being, as it were, disobeyed or that they're not in contempt of the order, because it was very specific. He had to be released within 10 days. That was Thursday. And uh, the Minister of uh, Justice and Correctional Services had to set his conditions of Parole. So the Constitutional Court left that up to the minister and also whoever is delegated to deal with this aspect. Mm. Well, one would hope that a discussion was had with the Registrar of the Court because uh, nobody really expected him to be stabbed on Tuesday. And uh, according to the Minister of Justice spokesperson, Crispin Peary, on um, Thursday, a statement was released that's in agreement with the state attorney and um, the legal team. So both parties, they've decided not to uh, release him until he's in a better condition. But I want to ask you about uh, the possible uh, parole conditions that we could be seeing here. That ultimately lies in the hands of the Minister of Justice, doesn't it? And what are we actually looking at here? What do you think those parole conditions are going to look like? Well, look, obviously they have to be reasonable. So, you know, the, normally parole conditions uh, are along the lines that the person can't leave uh, uh, certain areas. He has to have a fixed address. Uh, he has to also, from time to time, report to a designated official from the Department of Correctional Services. Um, you know, again, he mustn't commit further crimes. So it, it's it's... it's Sort of giving you an idea of what the minister could look like, uh, look at. The conditions in this instance might even be more far reaching than is the situation, let's say, with a person uh, who's normally released because of the uh, political aspects that have been relays, raised in this case and have been the situation all along. Yeah. So, um, you know, the, the issue has been asked. Um, you know, can he go back to his homeland, for example? Now, that is quite an interesting debate because, you know, then that has to be an arrangement made with correctional services, home affairs, to determine whether he can go beyond South Africa and whether he can go and serve his parole conditions elsewhere. Yeah. So usually... Uh, it's difficult to control that and to make sure those conditions are complied with. So, you know, where you've got a, a foreign citizen or who has, con you know, connections to another country, uh, you know, you can arrange with that other country for conditions to be complied with in that country. But it's, it's, it's usually, it's highly unusual because it's very difficult to make sure the conditions are in fact uh, complied with. Yes, I mean, you touch on a very important aspect, and I want to ask you that. Uh, Home Affairs came out and indicated that he will not be serving his parole uh, in Poland, where he originally comes from. But then that begs the question about what the parole conditions are going to look like, because what is the status of Janusz Walus? He's not a citizen. He's not a permanent resident. Um, so what does that mean about his parole conditions? Is he going to be confined to a specific um, uh, space or a specific 
public area, also given the risks at play here, because we've seen the outrage from the alliance and other political parties not wanting him to be released on parole. Yes, so look, the conditions, as I said, could relate to him remaining in a certain area, staying at a, at a certain place. And, um, you know, Home Affairs would then have to grant him some form of right to remain in the country, because if he's in the country illegally, as it were, because he hasn't got a permit or permission or, or any kind of status in the country, you know, then he can technically be arrested on that if he hasn't been granted that status. So, obviously, Home Affairs have are, are part of this case, and they would have to uh, granting some form of, of status in, in the country. Yeah. But he's going to be restricted to certain areas because, as I say, if he goes to Poland, well, then you can't, uh, you know, you can't ensure that he complies with his, uh, his parole conditions. So it will be interesting to see exactly what the minister has said. And, uh, you know, again, you might have a situation that he goes back to court to say that the conditions that are set are too onerous and are not reasonable. And the minister hasn't applied his mind, uh, you know, correctly in setting those conditions. But the point you raise is because of the protest that has arisen as a result of the decision from the Constitutional Court, again, his safety may be a factor that has to be considered by the minister and uh, may be taken into account with regard to these conditions.